Uh, what a great piece. Obviously, this kind of coincides with the whole common prosperity theme that's going on in China right now. But what sort of pressures are you learning uh, that some of these Wall Street banks are facing right now as they grow their business in the mainland? Well, the biggest issues is um, these rules are like are so vague, and at the same time, the directives seem to be very specific at the same time. Hmm. And the banks are basically thinking these discussions are unprecedented and just not just as unusual because the kind of regulatory intrusion to the personal's pay is like really the first time. When you speak to people in the industry for two decades, they never had that before. It's really right now they're trying to find a way to understand how much CSLC really wants from them in terms of complying these directives, which haven't become a ruse yet. But the bands are really thinking hard about what's next to come, especially with this com common prosperity drive is becoming more like, you know, in full force, they are really concerns uh, what's next. So they're still having dialogues right now. And you're starting to see some of those banks, I guess, slow down some of their growth plans here. Is there a danger now that they might have to pull back from further on some of their plans? Well, the banks will tell you, even off record or on background, they have to be committed to China because think about the market two decades after short term people familiar that no, no doubt the risks are higher than what they expected although they kind of expect China is not difficult to navigate anyway but the reason measures in China is making things a lot harder than what they said pull back not yet mm. but we are seeing some banks are thinking or we are assessing about how quick they should be expanding onshore given the license is so uh, approval is so slow and the rules are so like vague they probably want to play a bit more cautious yeah. right now uh